Hello, I'm Ipia X Toy Cat, and when I was younger, one of my favorite things to read was the Guinness Book of World Records. I love that there was an agency out there dedicated to finding the weirdest or the most impressive human behaviors and then verifying that they'd done it the biggest, the best, or the longest of any human ever. I thought it was so cool that there was just an agency dedicated to finding, uh, you know, like these humans that were better than anyone else at their task and then rewarding them with a world record and showing us some of the best world records they'd found. However, as you get a little bit older, you know, these things start to change a little bit, and one of the interesting variants off the Guinness World Record was the fact that they started bringing out something called the Gamer Edition. And this Gamer Edition, I didn't like the first one I read, but it seems as though it's gone consistently downhill since then, and it started to make me question even the Guinness agency themselves. So I wanted to make this video just to make you realize exactly what the business model is behind Guinness World Records, and exactly how the records aren't actually records, they're more records, especially in the gaming category, because more and more they've gone from actually trying to verify or certify records to trying to cash in on YouTubers, for example. You know, you see a bunch of them, you, you see it like mentioned on the cover even, but you see it on the website, it's the first thing they want to mention, like YouTubers love our book and you will too. But when you actually dive into some of the records, you start to see really ridiculous stuff, such as one of the records is tallest staircase built in Minecraft uh, console in one minute. So it's like, okay, that seems like it could be an interesting record, but let me show you this. This was the thing that immediately made me realize something was up. So here is the video. They uploaded this, they haven't removed this to their YouTube channel. So they got Ali A, who, you know, not to criticize the skills as a YouTuber, but he's not known as like a pro player, and he's known as a player of, you know, mostly other games, not a Minecraft, uh, you know, YouTuber at that, just a YouTuber of big games in general, and it's like, okay, that's your first warning sign, like, so they just got a random YouTuber and said, you know, Minecraft's real popular, maybe attempt a world record of that, but you know, he must have been practicing a long time for this, right? I'm looking forward to seeing his attempt. Mm -hmm. So they've picked Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition, which is a slightly interesting choice, in my opinion, because, uh, I mean, like, if you're gonna pick a version for a world record, you'd probably pick the most popular version, i.e. Bedrock, or Java, which is the one most people often know as Minecraft. Uh, but PlayStation 4 Edition? Okay, kind of weird already. In my friends, and the first thing to do is to grab just a load of these, and then the building shall begin. I'm gonna use a flying technique here. Okay, no, it's not really. I'm gonna use the flying technique. He's, uh... Worked out that while in creative, you can fly. On, on the fly there, that's his pro tip. If you want to attempt this record, remember to use flying. Don't just walk up it manually. That's that's kind of crazy. Don't need to change this a little bit. Here we go. Let's get this technique under. Oh, get this technique down. There we go. I'm just going to be flying around, switching the placing of the Yep, box. That's, that's accurate. Halfway already. Oh my gosh, what the? No! Oh my days, this is so intense. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, what the? This is so intense. Holy cow. So maybe we can just make fun of, like, YouTubers as a whole for that one, but, like, oh no, the clock is running down on your stair making. What the? Oh my god, this is so intense! It's making stairs in Minecraft for 60 seconds too. It's not like this is a giant thing. It's a 60 second task. You're maybe 20 seconds through it and you're finding this intense. Kind of concerning, but you know, you know, like a lot of gaming YouTubers like to be loud and abrasive. So we won't hold it against the record because that's going to be great, right? Besides the fact that there were a lot of like deletes and places there, that didn't look like a particularly impressive run. But I mean, we'll see the score, right? I can now confirm, Ali, that that was indeed a valid attempt. There's just one last thing we need you to do before we can reveal the actual result. We need you to walk from the bottom of the staircase to the top and back down again, just to confirm that the staircase is complete. Make sure this is a legitimate staircase and we're good. Perfect. Fantastic. So, I can now reveal that the height of the staircase when measured in blocks is 17. There was a minimum for this record, and that minimum was 10. Yes! Congratulations. There was a minimum for the record, and it was 10 staircases placed in a minute. 17 is, is the record here. And you might be like, okay, well, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty good, I'm sure. Like, uh, you know, for some people that's impressive. But like, for a world record, 17 uh, is the standard we're setting, with 10 being the minimum. Imagine if 10 was the record. That would be one every six seconds. You could do that significantly faster in survival, even if you had to get the wood in the attempt. And it's like, oh, okay, sure. I guess that's just how it is. So the record apparently still stands to this day. 17 blocks high is the record, although it's matched by someone else, apparently. Someone got the exact same record, so 
It has, it turns out, uh, you know, famous YouTuber still gets to be record holder. And I'm not the only one who dislikes this. I don't want to just make fun of, like, you know, I'm sure he was offered some money and opportunity to, you know, be like, oh, yeah, show up in a promotional video. He thought he was doing quite well. But as you can see, the majority of people who saw this, not like, it's just not, not me, my keen Minecraft eye. Everyone who sees this is like, what did we just watch? What was that? What was that? This is so intense. 17 stairs in a minute record. And if you read some of the comments, you can see, like, this is stupid. If you want to make real Minecraft challenges, talk to people who know the game. And I don't think it's such an unreasonable thing to say, you know, if you want to set world records, get people who play the game that you're trying to set the records for. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe I'm crazy on that one. This is like one of the most incompetent things I've ever seen. All you gotta do is like, even if you got a Minecraft YouTuber, it'd be better than that, right? Uh, but you know, ideally bring in a pro Minecraft player, someone who is really good at the precision movements, as opposed to someone who maybe hasn't played Minecraft in a very long time or ever played it on console, is what's, uh, what seemed to be there. So, there's a lot of people who had the exact Exact same thing. Is this a joke? Dumbest video. Easiest thing to do in Minecraft. Is it a joke? Every I got 20. I got 37 on the, uh, on the first attempt. So many people immediately destroyed this. But yet, if you look at the record, 22nd of November 2015 is when the record was set, and it's never been beaten. So already, this 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 immediately lowered my faith in you know the idea of a Guinness World Record. And so it's not only bad, for, in my opinion, that they put out the video saying this is the tallest staircase built in a minute, even though it's clearly people who must have done better than that by accident or just while building, so it's not actually a world record. It's absurd that they passed off as a world record, and it's absurd that despite all of the people who have, you know, said something to them, like, you know I've done better than this, you know here's a video of me doing better than this, they haven't gone out and sought the, uh, you know, the answer to that. Instead, they want people to come to them. They're like, oh, if you think you can beat this, why not try and apply to beat it? Why not try and be the person with the tallest staircase in a minute? And then you're like, so, I mean, surely someone must have applied. And yes, actually, multiple people have applied. So what you're seeing in the background right now is my uh, obviously sped up attempt to beat this record and despite the fact that this was something I hadn't really played a lot of, I don't use a PlayStation 4 controller very often, uh, but despite that fact I managed to get just over 20 on my very first go and you know just in case you're like well that wasn't the intensity of a situation where you know you got to talk live about how hard it is to play staircases in 180, you know it's a uh, it's really intense, it's crazy, look at those cows, look at those sheep, you know, um, in case you think that then let's dive into this live and let's show you that it is in fact doable. So let's hop into a creative world, start the timer, and then show you how possible this is. Okay, the timer is started. Let's go grab our wooden stairs as fast as we can. This has actually gone harder because they're in a different place. And let's show you just how fast and easy we can do this. Even when we're talking the whole time, like, oh my god, it's so intense. Look at this. Oh, we placed one slightly sideways, but it's fine. Apparently, according to the record, it probably shouldn't be. But according to the thing we saw there, it's all good. But yeah, this is as simple as it is. All you have to do is go left and then go right. It doesn't matter if you make tiny mess ups as long as it is technically walkable from top to bottom, which it will be by the time we're done here. And yeah, this is actually, again, you can see it's quite simple. I don't play play. PlayStation 4. I play it with a controller, but I really don't like the PlayStation 4 controller over the Xbox One, but personal preference or whatever. But you can see how like, oh yeah, each of these staircases doesn't take very long. And this is just me casually doing it. This isn't me having prepped for any amount of time. And that's why I don't believe that <laughs> there was any prep done before that record. You know, a real impressive world record attempt should have some amount of, uh, <laughs> you know, preparation or some amount of anything really done before it. Because that's how these things should go. In the last five seconds, it's so intense. Can I place them? Will I start breaking blocks they've already placed? I don't know for sure, but there we go. So let's not count the last one because uh, if you heard, that timer went off just before the end there. So now let's count how many staircases. Oh, actually, let's confirm it's legitimate. So as you can see, we can in fact walk all the way from the top to the bottom of this. We had a few sideways staircases in there, but it's entirely fine. In case you're curious as to just how many staircases it is. 19, 20, 21, 20. It's 22 staircases in a minute, which was actually the score I got when I tried this about a couple of years ago. So I haven't proved any amount at PlayStation 4 edition. I could do this in Xbox, but I want this to be a perfect comparison. So we'll just say 20, uh, 22 staircases in a minute. We beat the world record by five. Wow, that's amazing, right? I'm gonna get a world record because I just did this live video, this proof. Uh, you know, I've done it twice now. I've done it multiple times. Got lots of different forms of evidence. I have a capture card. I'm one of the lucky few who actually can record my gameplay. So let's send it off to Guinness, was what I assumed a couple of years ago. So on the Guinness website, they do actually have a place where you can apply to set or break records so that, you know, they can have people come into them. They don't go out and verify most of these things unless there's like a big company contract. If you have a record you think you've broken, you have to go to them so they can verify that you did. That makes sense in my opinion. Sure, why not? And uh, how long do they take to do that? 
well, apparently according to this, uh, roughly 12 weeks. So yeah, I thought the fact that they basically have three options and the one where it doesn't cost you money is all the way there in the corner like, okay, use the pleb option when you time is not pressing but you have a talent you want to share eventually. Seems a bit of a weird thing to do, but you know, I guess there's lots of corporations that want to do little contracts and have like a person come over. That that would cost some real money, right? So fine, uh, you know, spend the time, make the thing happen. I sent off an application in December of 2017. Dear Andrew, we are pleased to inform you that your record application for tallest staircase built in one minute in Minecraft console has been received and you do not do anything further at this stage. We have attached the terms and conditions of record breaking, which we advise you read carefully again. we You can view your application via the website and then it's got the application ID and then uh, that, that might be, have to be blurred. We will aim to process your claim in 12 weeks. They will aim to, so 12 weeks is not just the, this is how long it might take at max. You know, I used to work in industries where some things would just take a really long time because if you stalled for a bit, you know, then you had more theoretical time. You could deliver in like, you know, three weeks. It'd be impressive. But no, they aim to process it in 12 weeks, but that's not guaranteed. 12 weeks is the kind of estimate, the kind of rough guarantee. However, if you have a, a, a urgent claims, which require an immediate answer, you can use the priority service, which ensures your record application is assessed by our expert team in just five working days and you can upgrade to priority anytime. Even though you've submitted this free, you can upgrade to priority. That's real nice of you. How much is priority, you might be questioning? Well, uh, it's fast. If you choose the priority application service, they'll do it within five working days. The amount that I think is reasonable for any record application, this is your business. Your whole business is based around checking these world records for the purposes of making those books, right? So surely, surely this is the, like, this should be your priority as a business, but no, uh, their priority is 12 weeks, like, do whatever you want there, unless you pay us some money, in which case it'll take you 12 weeks. Apparently it's also assisted, and you can ask questions about your application through the correspondence function, and you actually get uh, answers or updates within two working days, as opposed to two weeks for normal people. You have the tiniest question, two weeks, unless you buy this service, because, oh, has it not been mentioned, it has a price attached, it's 500 pounds or 800 US dollars or 630 euros. That is crazy high. Just to check your stuff in five days, just to speed up the admin time on that, it's going to cost you $800 US, unless it's a new record, in which case it's $1,000. Luckily for us, we're going for an existing one. We get that really cheap 800 US dollar price and you might be like, my God, that's absurdly steep. Like, if you want to actually get your record reviewed, it's gonna cost you 800 US. Because, do you know what happened with mine? So the 4th of December 2017 was when they sent, uh, you know, their email to me, confirming the application had been received, and in about 12 weeks I could actually confirm it, send my details, but we never got to that stage, because you know what happened? It, they never got around to it. You know, 12 weeks is just the kind of estimated time. So what instead happened? So it took 13 and a half months for a response, but what I got was application reference, then a number, uh, Dear Andrew, your application for tallest staircase built in one minute in Minecraft console has expired and we can reactivate, send it off again, uh, but obviously it's going to have that same 12 week waiting period. I looked into that and it's like, oh, so that that's pretty crazy. Basically, they're saying, well, I mean, you, you should have paid. I mean, if you want to be famous, I, I think I mentioned somewhere something about the YouTube channel. If you're going to mention that, then really, I think that means that you'd be a great fit for the priority application service. So, you know, let's whip together $800. It's a lot, but it might be worth it. Except no, $800 US just gets you to the second phase where there's evidence review, which is going to take 12 weeks by default, unless you pray for priority, where it takes five working days as opposed to the usual 12 weeks. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, this costs an extra 650 US dollars. So yeah, basically uh, all in, we're talking 1450 US dollars just to get this uh, you know thing reviewed. And that is the reason why, in case you're curious, like, so isn't it kind of weird that in all this time, no one has beaten this record? As it turns out, pretty much no one can get to the phase where they'll accept the record um, because they just deny applications for it. And uh, you know, maybe that would be different if we paid. Maybe it wouldn't be the same. Maybe if we paid the money, it would be taken away. But is that any better? I'm not too sure. It's absurd to me that the average waiting time for a world record is six uh, you know, months, you know, 12 weeks plus 12 weeks, that's three months each time, plus any delays that might happen because of seasonal variances. That doesn't seem to me like a, you know, a body that is designed to be checking world records should be all about. And to be honest, it's not really their whole job. You might think, oh yeah, Guinness World Records, their whole thing is about Guinness World Records. No, you can even see like on their main webpage, records is one of their options, but business solutions is another big one. What they often do is they'll partner with businesses to make world records, as in they'll just try and do something which hasn't been done before, call it a world record, put it in the book, that's a form of marketing. Uh, for example, they uh, they did a world record with WestJet, an airline I actually do really like, uh, that was the largest circular projection 
and greatest light output in a projected image. What does that record mean? How is anyone ever going to attempt to beat that? And the answer is like, probably not, right? So they can keep their world record for almost ever, get them 750,000 YouTube views, those 1.1 million Facebook video views. And the point is it's a promotion tool. Most of these records are for promotion uh, in terms of businesses. And when it comes to individual people, you know, like the, the, the people that they're trying to advertise for, it's mostly going after your ego, right? Because the service, which costs 1450 US dollars, all in all, once you do both priority uh, systems, uh, will actually be self-serve. There's no person that comes out to check it. There's none of that. You verify all of that yourself, and they'll just say, oh yeah, this is the best. And yeah, that's, that's how they make their money. They make their money from doing these managed services for brands, basically doing corporate deals with the, the, the reputation they have for being a world records agency. Uh, they use the same thing to feed your ego, pay a lot of money, and be the best at something in the world. Uh, you know, I'll give you a, you know, a certificate for something, but it doesn't mean as much because you assume Guinness World Record means a bunch. And then there's standard applications. The actually applying for records thing isn't their main concern. Like, why would they care? Why would they need to? What is the point in verifying all these individual records for tallest staircase ever when instead they can have one that promotes those other services? Which is why you see a bunch of really absurd records. I, I should have mentioned, but there's, there's a bunch of ones here, like most views for a dedicated Minecraft video channel. I mean, but it's not a dedicated Minecraft video channel, right? Like maybe at some point, the 19th of January, 2018. But even then, I don't think the channel was dedicated purely to Minecraft. So you mean majority Minecraft? Well, now it's definitely not that. And I think like the point is, is like, okay, so you give someone uh, you know, a record because they've got 11 billion views, like good on him. But what is this record? What does it mean? How could you ever beat this? Like. It, it doesn't really make too much sense because, yeah, a, a lot of these records are given to people who are celebrities or famous or big companies uh, to, to kind of boost something. And one way for examples of this is it's not just one record. It's not just this tallest staircase. There's fastest time to build a house in Minecraft survival mode. The fastest time to build a house in Minecraft in survival mode is 3 minutes, 24 seconds, achieved by Christopher Rusch, Germany, in Berlin, Germany, on the 4th of June, 2018. What is a house for this definition? Like, what platform of Minecraft is that? Does it not say? Uh, okay, that's that's fair enough. And it's just like, oh, okay. So, world records really at this point mean you did a thing and we can't prove that anyone else did it faster. Except even then, it's not we can't prove it. It's that no one else is knocking on our doors to prove it or paying us money to prove it. And therefore, it's a world record. I honestly came to realize during the course of research in this video that Guinness World Records and most world records agencies, they don't exist because they want to catalog the best in human behavior. It's not like these various leaderboards and these various speedrunning sites, which are, you know, really built and purest for their game. Instead, it exists as a, hey, do you have money? Would you like to be the best at something? We can facilitate that. So yeah, maybe this is just one of those things where as you get older, you realize how the world really was. Uh, you know, like you like to believe that everything's so perfect and well put together, but the truth is lots of things need to exist for businesses. And a lot of people have had their egos hugely boosted by this service. And I think that's fine. I think that's even great. Some people that might really help them. But uh, as someone who loves seeing the best that humans can do, uh, that is not what you're gonna find from the Guinness World Records. And if you wanna see great Minecraft records, for instance, what I would recommend checking out instead is a website like speedrun.com. This is a community dedicated to speedrunning, doing the fastest of any particular category of a game. So Minecraft console, the, the any percent, the glitch, set seed, uh, someone's done that in 60 minutes. You can confirm they have, you have to submit video proof. And there's not just one uh, leaderboard, although you can see how many people have gone for the any percent glitchless Minecraft. Uh, speed record. Uh, there's a really good 1.6.4 seed. That's why so many people have gone for it, by the way. But there's not just one leaderboard or one leaderboard for any percent without, uh, you know, like with using glitches, which is much faster, of course, or for all achievements or for all advancements. Uh, but there's also a whole bunch of other different levels or different things, such as who is the fastest to obtain an emerald from starting up the world. As it turns out, three seconds is the record from this Singaporean man. Let's, let's watch this full clip, actually. So he spawned into the world and... Oh, that's how he's gonna do it. He trades. And he, you apparently can trade potatoes for 3.15 seconds. That's the record. But like, I think this is a real like dead, like, you know, there's no, oh, we're gonna take money for the good services. There's no, oh yeah, YouTubers get to do their own specific boards. Because you know, here's, here's the truth. If, you know, as a YouTuber, as someone who is in the category, it would be nice if, uh, you know, Guinness came off me and said, hey, we'd like to feed your ego and, uh, you know, promote your channel. You promote us a little bit, uh, like they've done with so many others. But the reason I don't think that I would enjoy that, but I don't think that's actually benefiting, you know, the gaming world at large. I don't think that's moving, you know, the game forward in case of Minecraft or in the case of the gaming world as a whole. But what I do think is cool is when there's this, you know, no BS, no priority, no, uh, you know, business solution service that's just like, hey, 
what we can do for you is if you prove that you have done this, if you prove you've done this without cheats, if you verify this, that, and that, then we'll have a leaderboard where people can compete for the very fastest. There's speedruns for all sorts of games. And I've been wondering for a while now, should I go for an actual world record on an actual site like this, as opposed to the Guinness one? Because again, at first this video was gonna be, here's my Guinness world record uh, that I totally went and got. I thought it'd be an actual way to show you how to get them. But what it turned into is, oh, yeah, no, you, you didn't pay money, so get, sorry about that, friend. The one that I was considering going for was the Any% percent Glitchless in Minecraft 1.6.4. Uh, I figured it'd be kind of fun, because, like, if you look at the variants, it'd be cool to see, like, you know, where would we come on the list? Would we be top 30, top 20, top 10? Could we get the number one? I think it'd be fun. Let me know if you want to see that in the comments down below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope it didn't ruin your childhoods like it ruined mine. And I guess I hope I'll see you all in a different one. Also, thanks to the editor. This was like the worst thing to edit together. But I hope you all enjoyed the edits today. If you did, make sure to check him out. Mr. Potato Man. His Twitter's over... over you know, it's, check him out. Okay, goodbye.